officials running the government. Now, so I have asked you, this is the fourth time to stay civil. I'm uh, trying to help you here. Stay with me. Okay, my friend. Okay, I apologize. Um, what I, I remember the day when, when people in government really helped out people. Um, I, my experience has been now that when somebody, I want to thank you for your, for your courtesy and understanding that I'm very frustrated. Um, I remember the day when you could contact somebody in government and they'd say, you know, we're here to help you. Like yeah, we are. At least I am. Well, I'm going to say God bless you, and I hope that's not politically incorrect. No, sir, I'm, I'm Catholic. You're good to go. Okay. Catholics, uh, yeah. let, let's talk about a show called The Real O'Reilly's o- 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 that's destroying the name and smearing the name of Catholics. And, and you know, that, is, that he has a constitutional right to his speech, and, and you know, that is, you know, we need to get back down to, you know, what can we do, what can we help you I, with? Okay, I, I want, I want... U.S. Marshals, I want, I'm sure you're familiar with Brown versus the Board of Education, Little Rock, Arkansas, where they had U.S. Marshals to protect somebody who only wanted to go to school. You remember that case, Brown versus the Board of Education? I wasn't alive at the time, but yes, I'm very familiar with it. Okay, I want U.S. Marshals to come down and protect me at, at, at Friday Fest. Okay, well, that's not something the Congresswoman's office can authorize. It's under the office of the President. But, in going to that, to tackle the issues that you're having with these law enforcement officers, I need you to get in contact with the, the, uh, excuse me, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, because that's where these investigations have to start. Well, uh, uh, see, 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 he's fucking lying right there. He can fucking, he can fucking go to Washington, D.C. There's a Longworth building in Washington, D.C. But see, it's not his motherfucking problem. He don't give a shit. Uh, And the reason why I'm saying God bless you and all this other kind of fucking shit, it is an art to keep them from hanging up on the phone. And so I'm doing everything I can to keep him from hanging up, even though I'm disgusted as motherfucking hell. Thanks, my friend. I have tried calling uh, the fumbling, uh, the uh, FBI, for, for, for Federal Bureau of Investigation. They have a call center that's in uh, West Virginia. And uh, they, they also... Have, they have a local office here in Panama City. Yes, they also... See, here's the thing, my friend, Alex, my friend. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say God bless you again, okay? I appreciate that. Uh, you'll notice that I put Deuteronomy 19, 18 through 19 at the Bible at the, at the very top. I don't put my name at the top. My name doesn't mean nothing compared to God. Uh, okay, now, I know that there's an office over there in Jacksonville, but see, what happens is there's something called fraternization. And that means that they rub shoulders with each other, so they are more hesitant to actually do what they're supposed to be doing because their judgment can be clouded by friendships. Okay? That's the reason why I have tried contacting people in the Florida, you know, uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, you know, they're in a little building down there by the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, it's a place where ships come in and out and stuff like that, it's a little, it's a little pink building, yeah, I've tried, to, you know, I've, yeah, I've tried contacting them, I've tried contacting, uh, uh Sheriff Frank McKeithen, I've tried contacting, uh, Scott Urban, I've tried contacting, um, you know, uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, Florida Governor's Office, okay? I'm the one that uh, Sergeant Stryker of the Panama City Police Department put false charges on me. All you got to do, my friend, is go to YouTube, type in Jim Bikeman robbed of a jury trial, and Jim Bikeman robbed of a jury trial proof, and you will see there's not an attorney in this world that can put a case better to, better together than I can. I had 76 reasonable doubts. I came in with posters. I came in with about six inches, several hundred pages that I did myself. Now, I am your, I am the best witness that you're going to have. There ain't nobody uh, in Ferguson, Missouri. There's nobody in in Chicago. There's nobody, if you really want to get rid of dirty cops, that put black eyes on the thousands of cops that are out there that they've got to deal with this black eye. You know about where Laquan McDonald was shot? 
Okay, now you'll notice here I have other people in the office. Hey, if this is something that can get rid of dirty fucking cops, what the fuck does it matter? He can't always say, look here, I'm with somebody, sit down, ha make yourself some coffee, uh, uh, watch some porn on the fucking computer over there. Uh, no. This is a technique that they use. Fucking cops use the same technique. Oh, I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. Yeah, because they're scared the fucking death that they, see, they have to take and they have to review the fucking questions. They can't fucking think on their feet like I can. Okay. I want a, um, I've given you, I've given you my email address, jimbikeman3 at gmail.com. Yes, sir. I've given you Jim Bikeman P.O. Box 952 Panama City, Florida. That's my mailing address. I've had my, my mail tampered with at my P.O. Box 952 Panama City, Florida. You can go under uh, Jim Bikeman uh, uh, mail tampering. I've got over 600 videos documenting proof of cop corruption. Well, and, and that, yes. Bring the, for you, the Congresswoman's office does not start an investigation. It needs to go to the, to the Federal Bureau of Investigation underneath the executive branch of the United States just for those to be started. See, see the thing is this, is he's a fucking liar. That means that motherfucker, this, this, I don't know how the fuck he got that position. Um, you mean to tell me he doesn't know how to fucking contact people and say, hey, we got a star witness here. Oh, no. Uh, gee whiz, we got to have somebody that was shot by a cop first. We got to see blood, gore, and guts first before anything is fucking done. That's what that shit's all about. Oh, your injuries aren't serious enough. But I can tell you what, that pussy-ass motherfucker put... I guarantee he wouldn't want to be in my motherfucking shoes. See, he ain't gonna have to worry about being arrested the rest of his fucking life. He's rubbing shoulders with Gwen Graham, who happens to be a fucking congresswoman. You ain't gotta worry about nothing his whole fucking life. Let me ask you something, then. Yeah. Uh, um... Alex, my friend, I've already, as I said, I've already told you that I've already gone to the Florida Governor's Office, I've gone to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, I've gone to the Panama City Police Department, I, I've gone to the Bay County Sheriff's Department, I've gone to the Florida Highway Patrol, uh, I've, you know, I've, I've, Jimmy Petronas used to be the, uh, you know, the state representative, I've gone to him before, you know, I've, I've, I've tried going to everybody, and I'm sure these people in Flint, Michigan also, you know, was crying out, but they didn't have the right connections, and they didn't have the money to, to, you know, to spread around to get something done. Now, as of May 4th, 2016, oh, I just, I contacted the state's attorney's office, and I, and I talked to a, um, Tiffany R-O-Y-S-E-N. Um, she was very nice and talk to me, uh, she said, I'm kind of like in a hurry, okay, so she said, can we have a teleconference on May 4th, 2016, at 3 p.m., yes, I did, now, I go to call her up, and then she's like, well, uh, I'm busy right now, and then she, re she refers me over to a, a, a public service officer, of the state attorney's office by David Angier that used to be in the Panama City News Herald. And so I was thinking, why would they get me to somebody in the state attorney's office? I have tried to get a prosecution done on these cops. Do you think it's right that, okay, I get charges pressed on me. I got to go six months if I don't show up one time for court. And a, and a lot of times, you see, they'll have the court real early in the morning so that they know that there are a lot of people they're going to sleep through so they can violate them. Okay? Now, I am your best 
star witness that you will ever have, and I'm talking about since the beginning of time. Yeah, have you, ever, uh, Alex, my friend, have you ever run across anybody that's put together their case as good as mine? I'm sure to be absolutely open with honest with you, yes. Who? Oh. And, and, and I just wanted to point out that, you, that I'm an employee of the legislative branch, not the judicial branch. And I... Then you we can contact, you can contact the United, uh, Alex, my friend, you can contact the United States Justice Department. And, and would you like me to have them reach out to you? Yes, I would. Now, you notice he says, oh, I'm with the executive branch. I'm with the legislative branch. That's another motherfucking excuse not to help anybody. And I'm sure people in Michigan, Flint, Michigan... Oh, uh, well, that's not my job, not my job, not my jurisdiction. I'm not authorized. That's a local issue. I wasn't there. Prove it. See, he shouldn't even be in that fucking position. If he's not willing to help, what the fuck is he doing there? I'm sure there's plenty of people to take it down to Panama City Mission that would love to have a nice warm office. That they could take and fucking eat all kinds of good food, go to fucking restaurants, man, and and fucking a party and rub shoulders with uh, who's who people and and claim that you're doing investigations and travel all over the place with fucking per diem. Go out there and fuck the natives in another part of town, do souvenir collection. And fuck off all day long. I'm sure there's plenty of homeless people that would be grateful. So. Yes, I would. But the thing is this, is my mail has been tampered with. But my email is jimbikeman3 at gmail.com. I want. I want it. Let me tell you what goes on, my friend. I will say God bless you again. And I mean that. And I mean that sincerely. Think about Kenny Luther. A homeless person. These cops, I believe, are on drugs. They are on a psychotropic drug that kills their conscience. They are also on steroids. Look at a cop and see the reason why they're blown up all the time. They are on steroids, and steroids causes rage. Did you know that? 